So I can see from online that a lot of you are having problems on how to flash the stock firmware onto your Moto C Plus and how to flash the recovery onto it without tripping the, or unlocking the bootloader. First of all, as always, a big shout out to XDA. So check the description for the link to this file. You want to open it up. You want to install Skipsoft Ultimate Drivers and when that loads up you want to install option 1, option 2, option 3, then option 11, sub option 1. Then install the device manager. Then I've included the signed drivers. You want to go start, right click, manage on computer. Device manager, actions, add legacy hardware, next go install from advance show all have disk link to this folder here and open up this file here and you want to install what I have installed which is the MediaTek Preloader USB COM and MediaTek USB VCOM once you've done all of that and rebooted you want to come back to this folder here and open up the Motorola C Plus folder and open up the flash tool. I doubt yours will be preloaded, so you want to choose download agent. Open up the Motorola C Plus and check the MTK one or file. Again, open up the folder and select or file, and then the scatter file is also in the firmware folder. Now for those of you who need to write your IMEI number, which I will show, 9 times out of 10 it's because you've selected Format 0 on Download, which I'm going to do for this video. But normally if you do this again, just select Download only, you'll be okay. So select Format 0 on Download, press Download, and then connect your phone to your PC cable whilst holding volume down. As soon as you see this red bar at the bottom build up, then you know to let go of the volume down button. Once the firmware starts flashing, I'll pause the video till it gets to the end. Okay, whilst that's doing its thing, from the folder you downloaded to, you want to copy to XD, external SD this. You want to put this on a micro SD card. That's why you cannot flash TWRP this way with a locked bootloader. You want to open up the SM Write tool, SM Writer. And to set this up, you go System Config. System config, you want to check IMEI, BT, and Wi Fi and the IMEI checksum. If you've got the dual IMEI, check that also. You want to load the modem database and AP files, which are clearly marked out in the firmware folder you downloaded. Then you want to press save. Then under identity, you want engineer enable autogen, check autogen for BT and Wi Fi. And then you want to get ready to copy and paste your IMEI number in which I'm going to show you at the end of this video. So now I'm just going to pause it quickly whilst this is done. So, as you see this download is done, i.e. it's done and you get this green tick, you want to get ready to write your IMEI number, which I'm about to do. Unplug the phone first from the PC. Put in your IMEI number. Oops. Bear with me one moment. And then when you press OK, you just want to plug your phone back in without pressing any of the buttons. see the blue logo Motorola logo
you see pass, you know it's done. So you want to unplug the phone again. Then making sure you've copied all the files from the micro SD card. On this smartphone flash tool, if you press Control Alt and V, it will open up under Window Write Memory. So from the folder you downloaded again earlier, you want to copy this address here and paste it into here and then load the recovery file that's at the root here now when you press write memory you want to connect the phone to the PC holding volume down like you did before and then when it turns red you want to let go of volume down then once you've written unplug your phone wait about five to ten seconds hold power and volume up to boot into the menu where you can select recovery, normal boot or fast boot then press recovery and I'll include some screenshots after this but to show you what to do but basically you just install from the external storage from that folder you copied that inside that folder there's a file called Magist 16.3 you want to install that then reboot your phone and then that's everything done